Hi guys and welcome finally to our brand new series on the channel, our FIFA 20 Sunderland Road to Glory career mode. So we're going to get straight into it today and of course if you are new to the channel you are very very welcome and make sure you do hit that subscribe button so you do not miss any upcoming episodes. But again before we do get into it, a few weeks ago I did make a video with a sort of team talk surrounding the series because if you are familiar with the channel and my career mode. I like to get you guys as involved as possible with them. So there's a few little things before we get into it that you guys have pretty much decided on from that Team Talk video. So for example, I asked you guys whether you think I should disable the transfer window um, just to make it more realistic. And you guys have agreed that we should disable the transfer window. So we are going to do that. Another thing that you guys wanted me to do or not do is not buy any pre uh, or do any pre-contracts with anyone like that because it kind of spoils career mode so we're not going to be doing any pre-contracts either uh, and also we're going to be setting it on the highest difficulty from the off but other than that we're going to try and make it at least as realistic as possible of course the more we do go up the leagues the better players we are going to sign that's just the nature of the game but I'm going to try and stay clear of buying all the kind of players that every other YouTube's going to buy you know all the best youngsters and stuff like that but, with all that being said, I hope all that's okay with you guys, and I hope you are all excited. Again, if you are, hit the subscribe button if you're new, and also smash that like button for me. It would be massively, massively appreciated. So, I haven't played one game in this FIFA 20 yet. We're going straight into the manager career, and I'm so, so excited, guys. I really am so excited. So, here we are. We get to select a manager and customise from the off. I don't know who I'm going to go with originally I think I might go with this guy and then we'll just edit him and uh, make him look as handsome as humanly possible of course we shall be calling him Jam Sony I love how you can uh, edit your managers properly this year I think it's a great little addition to career mode now let's just I'll just fiddle around with the face and uh, just see what I can do so the customization so far is actually really really good there's so many options you can go for in terms of customising your manager, and I really, really like that. So then everyone's manager across YouTube, and of course you guys at home, everyone's manager is going to look really different. So I've just been fiddling around with it at the minute. It doesn't quite look like me as of yet, and I'm probably not going to be able to nail it. But I just want to push in to the career mode. I'm not really massively bothered if it doesn't look exactly like me. We had to make sure we had big lips though, because I do have quite a big, <laughs> quite a big lips. Now look at all these hairstyles. It's all sort of... It, all the accessories you have for your hair, there's all different kinds of things, you can do hats, caps, which I do sometimes wear caps, but I won't be doing that, I want us to look like a smart, respectable manager. Now they don't really have my hairstyle, I'm, normally I'm just a general short back in size and everything else is just a bit too much, well, I'll just go with that one, I think that looks alright. We'll get rid of the facial hair as well because I'm clean shaven now, I didn't used to be, but I am now clean shaven, put a little bit of stubble there, oh, now should we go clean? Yeah, let's go clean, we'll do that. So that is the manager so far, guys. It really doesn't look like me very much either, does it? There's not much room to uh, give a massive fat forehead like mine either. So, uh, But that's the best <laughs> I could do right now. So you can choose absolutely loads of stuff for your manager to wear. Suits, different things you can match up with. I think I'll go with what he's kind of got on now. But I will stick a red and white tie because, of course, we are going to be Sunderland. Stick him in that. I think that looks quite good, that. I quite like the way he looks already. Shoes, I might stick uh, some brown shoes on him, see how that looks. See, now you, you'll start to notice how bad my taste in clothes are. But we'll see how he looks from afar. Can we see? See how he looks from a distance? There we go. I think that looks alright. I think that looks pretty good. There's Jam Sarni, all ready to go in this career mode. This is class. I think he looks absolutely brilliant. Really excited. Let's go. So, of course, we're going to take over Sunderland and... As it shows right here, we have 4.8 million to spend, but we're not going to be enabling the first transfer window because I think that's fair. You know, in real life, we've already made plenty of changes, plenty of transfers, and I want to give everyone a chance, and especially with this new dynamic potential system, I want to give everyone a chance because, you know, players who you might not expect to, you know, gain really high ratings, they might do in this if they do play well according to their form and stuff like that. So let's take over Sunderland, and we will disable the transfer window. We will stick it on ultimate... Uh, we'll put it on five minutes, uh, and I think that is everything. Advance, away we go. I'm so excited for this, guys. I'm so excited to get FIFA back on the channel, and I'm really excited to play this new career mode with uh, with the new potential system. That's my biggest sort of addition that I'm excited about for this career mode. This is my first time playing through career mode, so if you're watching this, 
in a few months time this is the day it's come out so i might make a few mistakes you know i'm not quite used to it yet but uh, but we shall see i'm really excited we won't be playing uh, any of the pre-season games or anything like that i tend to just skip through them so we'll be getting straight into some gameplay quite quickly i would say we'll have a look around uh, the hubs and see what that looks like then we'll play one or two games and then that'll probably be the first uh, episode done but we will choose the european international cup because that gives away uh, the most money or potentially the most money anyway so here we go we're in the hub a few well a couple of changes i notice immediately or the one change really is the notifications has immediately uh, it's immediately here on the central screen rather on a separate screen screen sorry so we'll have a look at the notifications let's have a look it's slightly changed uh, european international cup of course we know about that we've seen all this before our vision we'll have a look at the objective see if anything's changed there so youth development that's very low Brand exposure, that's medium. Financial, very low, so that's all right. I love taking over a club that has a very low financial expectation. So you have no real um, sort of barriers holding you back when it comes to spending eventually when we do get to January. Domestic success, critical, so we have to win the League One title. They're not accepting any less than that. And continental success is obviously very low. There isn't any objectives in that. But let's have a look at our squad. It started us off with a, a five at the back, which we will change. You guys did say you wanted to see... 4-4-2 uh, like Sunderland are doing in real life right now. So I'm going to quickly change that now. So let's have a look at these play ratings anyway. So we have Bainbridge in here, 52. Collins, 57. Samut, we have Robson. kimpioka has got a face in there as well, which is good. I like to see that. I hate when it's just a blanked out face. Baldwin, who should be going out on loan or is on loan currently to Salford. But um, this is the first version of the game, so that hasn't been updated as of yet. Robson is, should also be out on loan. We have Mumba, rate 55. Lu Luvens, who has left the club in real life. What more? Power, uh, and we have Wyke, Embleton, Lebeter, Grigg, McLaughlin, Flanagan, and Burge. But this is the team I have gone with, this 4-4-2. So that is what I'm going to be going with uh, from the off. We'll change the play instructions a little bit. We'll uh, set Maguire and McNulty to get in behind, because that's exactly what we want. Stay central, get in behind. I always do that with my... Uh, my um my strikers and set our wingers to stay wide and i think that's pretty much how i will leave it up until the first game of the season and of course in this fifa 20 career mode m uh, sorry morale is a massive massive thing to keep players happy and it can also affect their rating as well so when it comes to press conference conferences and things like that we're gonna have to be careful what we say and i do i do get quite emotionally invested in these uh in these career modes so you know when i'm really annoyed with the performance I won't be scared to tell them that they're shit, essentially. But, of course, we need to try and keep them as happy as possible. We do have a notification, and John McLaughlin wants to talk to us. Greetings, boss. On behalf of the whole team, I'd like to give you a warm welcome. I love this, because now we can actually interact with players. So we shall reply to him. We can either say, excited about the future, we've got work to do, or nice to meet you. I'll say, excited about the future. I think that's a good thing to say. And his morale has gone up, which is great. Uh, so really happy to join you lads. I'm really excited about what we'll achieve together. So that is everything. That's the first little interaction we've got, which I do really like because FIF 19, it become so frustrating that you couldn't respond to any players when they were complaining about different things. But now you can address it directly. So now we are going to simulate through the uh, the preseason games. Hopefully no one gets injured. That would be the most frustrating thing. But we do win 4-1. And something I've just noticed, it doesn't even give the option to skip or watch through. The simulator games, it just does it immediately for you, if you know what I mean. Last year, I think you press Y and it would skip to the end. But um, it just goes straight to the final whistle as soon as you press advance. So we did win the first game. Will we win the second? We lose by a goal to nil. But the main thing for me is just no one's picking up injuries. That's what I'm most happy about. And our third pre-season friendly. Come on, get a win, lads. Get a win. Come on, boys. Yes, 3-1. Gooch, McGeady and Ledbetter who come on as a sub getting the third goal as well. Now, I will do a bit of player training. I'll put Embleton in there, and I'm going to be putting Mumba in there as well. I really want to get those to uh, as high rated as humanly possible. Yeah, so these are going to be the two players I'm going to be trying to smash as much as possible in uh, in the player training. Two of our better youngsters anyway. Mumba will have a lot of potential in this game. But now to the semi-final of the pre-season tournament. Come on, lads. Give us a win. Give us a win. And we lose 1-0, so we have been knocked out, but we will get a little bit of money for that, I would think. And that will all go towards our January transfer budget, which is something I'm really looking forward to. As well, guys, as you uh, know, if you have been subscribed for a while, I do like to get you guys involved as much as possible. So any player you think I should go for, let me know in the comments, because I take everything into consideration. Be it players you want me to buy, players you want me to sell or loan, 
or even, you know, systems, formations, tactics, anything, let me know in the comments below. And I always read comments and uh, take everything into consideration. But we are finally here. It is the pre-match press conference for the opening game of the season against Oxford. We shall attend this press conference and uh, see how it looks. I'm really, really excited for this. And I've probably said that like seven times now. <laughs> I just realised that my manager looks a bit creepy. He looks like he's off his face with his eyes. Look. <laughs> how does the pre-season impact the squad ahead of their first competitive game? Uh, we're working hard every day. I think that would be an easy thing to... Uh, it's a simple response for that question. And the morale has gone up in the top left-hand corner, as you can see. Does the team have what it takes to win the league? Now, this is where I'm going to be really confident. I'm not going to do a Jet Ross and just shimmy myself away from questions. I will I will tell them that that is what we, uh, what we want to do. Uh, with these players, we can win it every year. Well, we can't win it every year, can we? That's ridiculous. If you win League One, you can't win it the next year, can you? Because you're out of it. The title is a requirement. Okay, we'll do that. That makes, uh, that makes them happy. What a stupid response to that question. <laughs> I mean, if you're in the Prem, yeah, I understand, but you can't win League One every single season. Ledbis' form was disappointing in pre-season. Will you stand by him in the opener? I won't be commenting on that, I don't think. Tough competition for the starting lineup. Right, okay. That's that's absolutely brought Ledbis' morale up massively, that one. Thank you. I will not be taking any more questions. I really like that. I really, really like that, how you can impact the players' morale. I think it's just uh, it's something that we definitely needed to be implemented into FIFA 20 Caremo. But now we're going to be getting into our first game of the season. Playing in our beautiful red and white kit. Oh, Maguire looks terrible. They've made him look so fat. Look at him. He looks fat as anything. <laughs> well, here we go. First game of the season. As you can see, we have McLaughlin in goal. Hume, Ozturk, Willis and O'Neill across the back. McGeady on the left of midfield. Gooch on the right. In the middle, we have McGeoch and Dobson with Maguire and McNulty up top. Let's get into it. And here we go. First game of the season at the stage of my life. It's a beautiful day as we welcome Oxford. In real life, we did draw one all with them on the opening game of the season, but hopefully we can change that today and get ourselves a win. There's our boy, Lyndon Gooch. Can he get himself in the score sheet today? We shall see. Now, here is the starting 11 from us. I really like this gra graphic. I think it looks really, really nice. Really clean. Jam Sony, the new manager, of course. We have Wyke on the bench, Ledbitter, Greg Embleson. We have plenty of options on the bench. But there is, of course, a reminder of our starting eleven, And this is how Oxford line up. It'll be interesting to see what formation they play as we are playing a pretty basic 4-4-2. We shall see in just a moment. They are playing a 4-4-1-1 or sort of 4-2-3-1. Spasov, Henry up there as well. Ford on the left, Cadden on the right, Baptiste in the middle. Decent side, but can we win our first game of the career mode, our first game of the season? Away the lads, and away we go at the stage of my life. Come on, boys. Oxford started off the game really well, but we managed to clear that one away and clean up nicely. Can we break here? That's a poor pass, giving the ball away there. Lyndon Gooch, and they are breaking forward now. Get into him, Willis. Well in, son. Come on, we can't get it out of our own half at the minute. But now we do have Luke 9 breaking forward. Hooks it in. For McNulty, he needs support. He's not getting much of it. Trying to hold on to the ball here. Dobson onto McGeoch. Come on, let's just keep hold of the ball. Calm it down. Oxford did have a bit of a good spell there for the opening five minutes. But we need to try and keep hold of the ball. And we can't again. Oh, they are breaking though now. Down this left-hand side. They're really torturing Luke 9 at the minute. It's a good ball inside. Is he offside? He's not. He's onside. And Jordan Willis managed to get the block in. Really isn't a good start from us at the minute. Get it away, get it away, it has been struck and it's gone wide. Great chance early on for Oxford to take the lead. Again down this left side and 9 has been beaten far too easily. They've caught inside, get it away, get it away, please get onto it. Well in, saving the day. Alim, Ozturk, they're just dominating at the minute Oxford. We really can't get it out of our own half. Get it away, headed, still in the box. And that's a goal kick. Flicks on nicely now. Help him out. He does try and find his man. It is Chris Maguire. Can he flick it inside? He can. It's Luke O'Neill in. Straight at the keeper. Can he get it in? He can't. Our first chance of the game there. What a chance it was. Come on, get into him. Get into him. It's a good chance now again for Oxford. On the break. Get into him. Oh, he's completely done his man. Surely now it is. Oh, he's missed it. Get it away. Jesus Christ. I honestly thought they scored there. I was literally just sitting down with my controller thinking, right, they've, they've scored. How on earth have they missed? From there, we are so lucky not to be behind, and they are still coming forward. Get it away, boys. Get it away. This is just terrible. This is not a decent performance so far 
from us. But now here is McNulty. Try and find Germani. Just find Maguire on the left. Good football this now. Nicely done. Switch the play, McGeoch. Decent ball to Gooch. And he's been absolutely wiped out there. And the ref hasn't given anything, but we do get a throw in. Now here is McNulty now on the ball to McGeoch. Dobson. Still Dobson, nicely done. Flick it on for your man. Can he get it across goal? He does towards Aidan McGeady and it's taken off his toes. Come on, break forward. Come on. Make your move. Knock it on. Nicely done. Well played. Keep going, Gooch. Keep going. Just find Gooch. Turn him. Help him. That's it. And again. Turn. That's it. Just keep hold of the ball. Keep hold of the ball. Turn. Have a crack, son. Have a crack. And what a save that is. It is Lennon Gooch. Back in across goal. And it's hooked away. Really into end stuff here. Come on. What a game this has been so far. Flick it on. Turn. Still Maguire. Still Maguire. Get it across goal. He does strike it. Surely. It's in. It's 1-0 just before half time. And it is McNulty who buries it. And he is. Offside as well. Oh, God. We thought we had it. We thought we had the opener after Chris Maguire was wriggling through that defence. And he isn't even offside. If you saw that line there, he was bang on it. I don't think that's fair, that. We're going to go into half time. Nil nil, it looks like. And it is. But what a game it's been. Oxford dominated the sort of first half of the first half. But I think we come into it brilliantly towards the back end of it. Hopefully, we can get ourselves a. A winner in this second. And the second half is now underway. Come on, boys. I don't want to start the the new series with a nil-nil draw. We can't be having that. Go on, Gooch. Go on, Gooch. Get it in. Well in, Gooch. Keep going, son. Help him out. That's it. Flick it on. Turn. Give it back to Gooch. He is there. It is Gooch. Come inside. Gooch. Oh, and he's took an age to strike the ball. And it was blocked. Great chance. And it's a good header there from Luke Nine to knock the ball on. Now here is Chris Maguire, the little trickster. Whips it in and it's been cleared away. Come on, we're starting really well in this second half. Oh, they've got it out wide this time on the right. It has been whipped in. Get your head in it. Well in. Lending Gooch tracking back there. Now we are going to bring on our first substitutions of the game. Embleton on the right-hand side replacing Lending Gooch, who is booked. Don't want to risk him. And also Charlie Wyke as well replacing Maguire. Bombing forward now, George Dobson. Keep going, so no one's closing him down at all. It is Dobson into McNulty. Dobson from distance, and it's a awful effort, really. It looks destined for nil-nil, this. Both teams really going at it, though. Nice done there by Aidan McGinney. Help him out. Knocks it on for Charlie White. Can Charlie White knock it back in? He can. Can he get there first? He can. So close. Coming down the left again. Get it away. That's it. Come on. Can we break? Actually done. Here he is. McNulty now bombing forward. Help him out. Move. Make your move. It is. Aidan McGeady. One more with the keeper. Good chance. Hits it. It's in. Four minutes left. And it's Aidan McGeady who breaks down the middle and makes it 1-0 at this stage of my life. Get in. It was Dobson who was breaking through. He puts McGeady through. He shields off his man and buries it in that far corner in typical McGeady style. And we are in the lead. Get in. Here is McNulty now. He's been excellent so far in this game. Pulls it back for Denver Hume. Can he find his man? He does find him through. Is he offside? He is offside. He missed anyway. Aidan McGeady really pulling the strings now. Just two minutes remaining. Will be this be our first three points of the season? Or is there going to be a twist in the tail yet? Here is Dobson now from distance. Dobson, he strikes it. Oh, and it's just over the bar. But there goes a full-time whistle. Three points to start the season off. It wasn't a great start to the game. Oxford absolutely dominated. But we do manage to get away with all three points. Get in. Now we do have the post-match press conference now. How happy are you with the first win under your belt as Sunderland's manager? And of course, I will be very positive because that was excellent. The lads did give 100%. I shall say that. Glad to have given me 100% and that's all I can ask for from my players. Their attitude has been first class since I've been here and I hope they keep it going. Is Grant Ledbetter in danger of losing his starting position in Sunderland squad? They're obsessed with Grant Ledbetter at the minute. Well, you know, if uh, the thing is, if other players are playing better than him at the time, then he's not going to get played. Uh, so what shall I say? I make the lineup based on recent form. There we go. And that actually improved Grant Ledbetter's uh, morale as well, which I think is fair. 
Because that, that is true. If, if our central midfielders are playing well, then why would we? How come we decided not to give McLaughlin another chance to start? They just Is this what it's all going to be about? It's not going to be out of the win. Nothing positive. It's just typical media, isn't it? Um, this should motivate him. I put the team first. You reap what you sow. Shit. I didn't mean to... As they say, you reap what you sow, and I don't think McLaughlin should expect to start considering his recent form. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. I thought that would um, put his morale up, but obviously, Conor McLaughlin did not like that whatsoever. And as of the next training session, Bolly Mumba has actually gone up by one, and he's now rated 56, which is a nice little start for him. But this is actually where I'm going to end the episode, guys. I know I did say I played a couple of games in this first episode, but we are currently on the EA Access trial. But usually what I am going to do, and what you guys agreed in the Team Talk video that I talked about earlier, what we will start doing once we get into it is two games an episode with two or three simulated as well. So then we get through uh, quite quickly. But at least we get this episode out to you guys so you know that it's all underway. It's a great start to the season with a great dramatic 1-0 win at the stage of my life. But that'll be it, guys. If you have enjoyed, please smash the like button for me. It would be massively, massively appreciated. And subscribe to the channel if you're not already to become a fully-fledged member of the Sony Army. But for now, you take care and stay jammy.